We're still in Johannesburg. It's our last day today and there's one more thing I want to talk about in this little series that we're calling So welcome to another one of my TED Talks. Lately, I feel like I have been guided by my intuition so deeply that it has taken me to places I just didn't think I would ever go to. And a big part of that has come from just trusting that this path that I'm on is the path that I've always meant to be on. And it wasn't always like that. I get a lot of people asking me, how I ended up where I ended up. And to be honest with you, this was never meant to be my life plan. If you had asked me seven years ago what my life plan was, I should have been married. I should have had a degree. I should have had a house by now. I should have had three kids by now, actually. And uh, we're a long, long way away from all of that. But at the same time, I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. So it's this interesting thing of the past few years for me has felt like I just relearned how to trust my gut and trust my intuition and trust that the universe has a greater plan for me but it's such a magical thing when you finally get to a place where the intuition is so so strong my definition of what trusting your intuition is it means at times doing things that logically don't make sense but innately you know is the right thing to do and these are often the times that we can't actually explain why we feel the need to do something there's just this pull to go and do it and the reason why I'm talking about this today is because that's exactly where this next chapter starts the past five years of my life have required me to just trust and let go of everything that I once knew and welcome in everything that's been coming my way whether it's been challenges whether it's been people, whether it's been opportunities, learning to let go to create space and room for the things that were always meant to come to you. It's not easy. It's not easy because we're so preconditioned to hold on to things that we think are ours. In the letting go and trusting the universe and trusting the timing of everything, it's taught me how to trust myself more importantly than anything else. And it's really uncomfortable sometimes. And I think it's uncomfortable because it's uncertain and uncertainty brings fear and fear if you let it fester for long enough usually tends to control and dictate everything you do moving forward and it robs you the opportunity to grow and it's because it doesn't feel safe and what our brains and what our minds crave is safety. So logic will always tell you to play it safe, but intuition will tell you to just try and to just go for it. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Six years ago, I made a conscious choice to change everything in my life. It meant taking some drastic risks. It meant letting go of everything I once knew. It pretty much meant having to start again. And that's terrifying because again, we crave comfort, we crave stability, we crave routine, we crave safety. And the second you step out of that comfort zone, it feels uncertain, it feels unsafe, it feels like you don't know which foot to put forward first or where to step next. But that's the point, that's the journey of it. That's where you start to figure shit out. And I guess now I truly do believe that that is the whole point of this human experience. It's to experience it. It's to experience the highs and the lows and the good times and the sad times and Embrace it all because it's all part of it. Life will never get easier. You will just get better. And don't get me wrong, comfort is necessary. You know, there, there needs to be a certain level of stability and there needs to be a set routine sometimes. And more importantly, discomfort zones can become comfort zones really quickly without us even realizing. The point I'm trying to make in this video, if it's making any sense to anybody at this point, do hard things. Because those hard things are what make you better. And when you get better and when you get consistent, you start to trust yourself a lot more. And then you start to build confidence within yourself. And when that confidence grows and that confidence builds, momentum builds. And soon enough, people around you start to feel that energy shift and they start to feel the momentum and they, they want to be a part of that. At the end of the day, all confidence is, is trust. And learning to trust yourself is hard in the beginning when you've been so conditioned to please everybody else first or put yourself last. That confidence allows you to seek more out of life. 
it allows you to engage more with people and connect with like-minded people and really i think that's the whole point of this thing that we call life is to go out and seek that discomfort and seek the opportunities and seek the connections that make us feel alive and make us feel fulfilled and for me i think i've just gotten myself now to a place where i no longer want to just survive i want to thrive don't let the fear of living stop you from feeling alive and i guess what brought on this reflective vlog or ted talk is how trusting my intuition is what's leading me to my next destination which is Thank you.